HitFilm Express tutorial, how to use HitFilm for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with editing your videos professionally using HitFilm. So let's get into it. Now, HitFilm is a powerful VFX and video editing software. It makes video editing super simple and for people that are looking for advanced features and a simple interface, it is probably one of the best editors out there. Plus, it is available for free as well. So, you have professional tools with professional results and for any kind of uh, video editing, even if you're someone that's looking to do this commercially, HitFilm's free version can definitely be a quite a strong uh, video editing competitor, even to Adobe. So, let's get into uh, getting started with the application. So first off, you have to download HitFilm onto your Mac device or Windows. They have multiple different links. You just click on download free. And then from here, you can select download for Windows or download for Mac, depending on your device. And you just want to download uh, the application. I have already downloaded it. So this is what your application will look like once it is downloaded. This is the free and basic version of HitFilm. So to get started, I can click on create new and I can click on edit. So all you have to do is download HitFilm and once you have downloaded HitFilm, you will be able to open up the application. So this is our HitFilm application and this is what it will look like for you guys. Now from here, all you have to do is click on create new and you can open up a new editor. You can choose the specific video height and width and the frame rate that you want and you can just click on OK. And this can enable you to open up the video editor in a, a specific aspect ratio if you want to change that. So if you want to uh, get started with your own video, you're not sure about the dimensions or anything, then we're just going to open up HitFilm once more. And you can just click on open and you can open up your particular video. So I'm just going to open up HitFilm. And once we open this up, you can just click on open. And we can just go into uh, selecting the specific project that we want. Now, we're just going to create a new project from here. And we're going to click on OK. Once we have created a new project, this will open up HitFilm. Now, from here on the top, you will find your navigation panel. You have file effects, window, export, and help. Then you have your viewer, your layer, and your export. So below that, you have your library. Uh, the library has multiple different sound effects and templates that you can choose. Templates are amazing for people that are just getting started with video editing. And then you have media. So in media, you have import, templates, and new. And you will just click on import and you can import the media that you want to add to the editor, the one that you want to edit. And you can just place it over here so we can get started with editing. Then you can click on templates as well and you can add a specific type of text template uh, that are pre-existing in the HitFilm video editor and you can use those as well. So let's click on import over here and then you are just going to drag and drop it below the video. And then we're just going to have the start time like this. So let's place the video like this. And then you're just going to go on ahead. And let's say we want to take our video one. This is our track two. So I'm just going to drag this over here. And now after that, we have our controls. Now you have multiple different clip properties. You can blend, you have motion blur, you have... Uh, basic effects uh, as well. You also have transformative tools like rotation, scaling, and positioning. You also can rotate to a certain angle depending on uh, the um, aspect ratio of your video. And you also have opacity tools to enable certain elements to be more visually dense than the others. Now, after that, you also have line behaviors and skills you can edit. Now, next up, you have effects. You have multiple different pre-existing uh, effects that you can pick up from. So let's say we want a 360 video. You have multiple different 360 uh, effects. And some of these effects are only available for the pro version. However, some of these are available for even the free version of HeadFilm Express. So now if we go into our viewer over here, you will be able to see what your rendered video is going to look like now. I have this basic layout and I can click on file and let's say that I want to 
go on ahead and edit it like this like so so i'm going to go into my media i'm going to add my track one first now i'm going to remove the pre-existing one and i'm going to place this over here moving this over here let's take a look at the video like so now going back i want to add our little text section so i'm going to add it in in the video as well and then you can edit the text however you like you can edit whatever you want into the text you also have multiple different rendering options as well available in head film now you can also see you have effects on the top so color grading effects uh depth effects scene effects all are available on the pro version of head film as well now going ahead and taking a look at the exporting options you also have um exporting right now you can export certain contents as well and let's say that we have you know so let's take a look at the layers over here and you can layer multiple different video items let's say i want to import another video let's take this one for example and i'm just going to upload my media i can drag and drop this ahead or if i want to get started with a new project so let's say i want to click on new let's start with a new project for this one and now i'm just going to click on my media and i'm going to click on import and we're going to get started with this video now just taking this over here we have the start time now after that let's say i want to add some audio so we're going to go back into the library section and from here you have multiple different royalty free music options as well so you can choose to drag and drop any of these into the audio section now going ahead and taking a look at our controls let's say we want to have a soft light effect so we can just select that from here if you want a motion blur you can also just click on this tick over here to enable motion blur in your video now to get a preview you are just going to enable it like so and we're just going to make sure that our video is like so and now this is like the current version of our video that we've edited you can do a lot more with hit film as well there are quite a few different tools that enable you to further perfectify or make your average videos more exquisite so you definitely do need to check out hit film and i do think that it's a great tool to use uh generally i do think it's better in the hands of a professional because of the depth of tools that you're going to get uh for people that are tracking you know you have audio mixers in this as well you have multiple different effects and if you go up to the pro version you can use the pre-existing templates but uh as a beginner it might be a little difficult but it's still manageable so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with hit film. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.